Now that I'm living on the west coast, the east coast is a bit of a journey. Uh, luckily I've got Justin on the west coast with me and we uh, travelled over together. One downside was a bunch of the main roads are shut. So uh, we had to take a few shortcuts, which was uh, all good and exciting as you can see. Uh, I think even with the hindrances, we still probably got there a bit earlier than if we did stick to the, the main roads and roadworks and what, single lane uh, highways and such. So yeah, we're both uh, super keen for another Tassie Spiro cooking competition. And it was a ripper of a weekend. Too short, this one too short. and some bacony bacony yeah. that looks like it could be alright it's good for seafood going in well, lemon lemon um, 
Let's go, One in. One more, I reckon. Oh, Look at that. Here and got some abs. Yeah, just trying to keep all my fingers in my hands. That's it. You're not, not cooking properly unless you give yourself a few wounds. Put some blood and sweat into your... <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Looks good. Beautiful cuts. Mike's going with the crayfish. Beautiful little tails. <laughs> That's all, mate. I'll get out of the way while you got that knife there. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna get some secret secret some recipes. <laughs> so Ryan's going for a couple of bits of potato. Well, cheers everyone. Cheers. Cheers. And big thanks to all of you for making it out for the fourth Catch and Cook competition. Uh, this isn't everyone's first rodeo, as you guys can tell. Um, yeah, it's so good to see another beautiful spread, something special. So, uh, thanks to everyone for participating and Thank you for those who are here to vote and enjoy the ocean alongside. Hey. Thanks for organizing. Yeah. Cheers, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round of applause. Round of applause. Uh, round of applause. Uh, so last time, last time we did go around and talk about what our dishes were, what the mindset was. Like, feel free to decide if you or tell if you were like actually chasing that specific species. Um, I can't tell which way to go, but I think we start with Jack, and then we'll go around. All right. So I did the seafood. Chowder, multi species, except for a camping trip. Generally come home with a fair bit of different mixed bag of lolly catch. So I wanted to use something, make something that uses it all up. I got mussels, crayfish, abalone, and uh, just finfish, and in like a cream based broth. The base of the broth is made with the water I've boiled the cray in. So it's got that as another layer. And I sauteed the vegetables in a um, urchin butter. Infusion. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. And then yeah, serve with some homemade bread, mop it up. Gorgeous, gorgeous Ooh. seafood chowder. Cam, what do we got? Cam, you're the hot oh, pot. Yeah. No one can actually see what's kind of looking. Oh, have a look, have a look. Okay, take a look. okay what oh. the hell are we looking at? Oh. Oh. So that is a pot with um, a soup in it. <laughs> <laughs> we've got. We've got a zebra fish, which was what, what I wanted. You I, wanted I, a zebra for it? I cool. did. I wanted a, a nice chunky fish. Um, it's like an Asian style. I've got some noodles in there, and it's something I wanted, I wanted to have a crack at for a while. So it's not tried and tested, but it's something I wanted to have a crack at. So. Zebra, fish, zebra fish soup. Nice work. That's it. Ryan, what do we got? You're in the walk, eh? In the walk. Nice move. Zebra and ab tiger and curry. This is a couple of times a month in our house. Cool. Staple. Beautiful. No. No. Just, <laughs> just, just random. Brutal. What's, what's, <laughs> what's left in the veggie right. crisper? <laughs> yeah. Sam, what are we at? Uh, you're looking at smoked fish dip, various condiments, and uh, smoked. What do we got in the dip? There's so this is smoked the dip. This is, dip. The, this is the dip. So and, and everyone then, needs to know this because you're burning, please. So yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> these these are co combined. So yeah, combine whatever you want. And then there's um, what did we say it silver was? Sweet. Silver sweet. Ocean sweet. Silver. silver. Anyway, silver sweet. Uh, and Luderick with a spice rub and smoked as well. Is it the same thing in the dip? No, that's ras without the spice rub. Oh, so there's, ras yeah, there's, there's ras smoke, dip. smoke three, three species <laughs> okay, smoke right. two ways. There you go. Ras we'll ras for a summer. Back. Back. <laughs> so. Nice work, Sam. Yeah, nice bringing work. the ras back. <laughs> Justin, what are we at? Uh, so we have a uh, this one here. It is a zebra fish napolitano. Um, that's. Look, I could try and be fancy and say lots of things, but it's just. Basic done well. A uh, bit of pasta, and there is also some parmesan, sharp parmesan with the grater behind it for uh, some garnish and seasoning. Nice work. Nice work. Cool. Um, I'm in the back corner with the risotto. You got poached crayfish and zebrafish on top. Uh, I made a cray stock. 
Oh, uh, wait, well, yeah, did I say zebra? There's so much zebra going on. <laughs> My bad, thank you. Black drummer poached with uh, um, crayfish on top. Uh, risotto's uh, cooked with the cray stock. And yeah, I didn't really actually plan on the drummer. I was thinking I was going to do abalone, but shot a good drummer, so screw it. And tried, tried poaching for the first time, honestly got no clue if it actually made a difference, but I did like slow simmer in butter for about like 30 minutes. So it is different. I didn't fry it. It's definitely not fried. Wade? Uh, I had the idea driving up to Stumpy's. thought, what's easy? I thought, fish cakes for camping. I thought, fish cakes, I would like to get the salmon or a trevally, hopefully. Got a couple of trevally, so that worked out all right. Uh, so it's now trevally and squid fish cakes. Oh, cool. The shit out of me garden and sriracha mayonnaise. Shit out of the garden. And bought sourdough. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Um, I've done a sweet and sticky Vegemite abalone um, with some rice on the side, and there's um, some broccoli. If you choose to, there's also some uh, red chili there. Um, yeah, so I went out with the intention to get abalone. I haven't ever made this before and it's all just tipping stuff in, so we'll see how it turns out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice work everyone. Is it really a catch and cook if you uh, plan it more than three hours before you <laughs> Dig in. Oh, we've got, we've got the leather jacket. Oh no! Oh, yeah. I no. skipped it. Oh, it's all good. It's I just a uh, leather jacket. No, like, that's <laughs> my, that is my first ever fish. It's the first time I've gone spearing. Oh really? So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So didn't realise that. Well, no. well, thank you very much. Yeah, no, that's the first fish and first spearing I've ever done. Thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. Well, well done. done. That was so much fucking fun. Honestly, that was awesome. You'll be hooked. I'm hooked. Yeah, I'm fucking I'm yeah, hooked. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> well done, dude. All right, don't be shy, guys. Get that's it for another great Tasmanian spearfishing cooking competition weekend. Uh, big thanks to Tasmanian's diving group in Launceston. They donated a weddy for the first prize for the cooking competition, which was Jack with his chowder. Uh, another big cheers to Freedive Tasmania for organising the scavenger hunt. They uh, also set up a $125 voucher, which Ryan won. Cheers again for Justin Bennett for being my chauffeur for the weekend and also donating a hard float for the best buddy of the weekend, which went to Mike. And of course, Michael Siriani for organising the event and organising a cutting board for the most outstanding catch, which went to Liron. I'm sure he'll get a nice leather jacket or something put on there for him. Uh, we're back to the West Coast, uh, where it's beautiful weather. I uh, can't wait for it to get, get better. There's awesome, awesome fishing over here as well. So all you guys need to get over the West Coast and enjoy it over here too. Thanks heaps for watching.